obviously not your first time in Holland, but uh, this is somewhat different because I wrote on Twitter that you are not feeling that well. I'm feeling great. Yes. Yeah, who said I'm not feeling well? You tweeted like, okay, fellow Canadians, if you will ever oh, no. miss you. That wasn't about me being sick. I have a friend who's sick right now traveling and he's like, I miss Canada so much. I'm fine. Oh, oh I'm luckily, I'm, I was already worried. I'm good. Did I sound like I was okay? No, you sounded great, yeah. as always. Then I was good. <laughs> okay, so uh, originally you, you are from Canada. So um, what do you, like, if you're here in Holland, what do you miss most about Canada? I, I don't miss anything. I'm going back on Tuesday. I'm gonna, I just want to like, I want to stay here the whole week. Yeah, I want to go eat like herrings and eels and uh, smoke cigars and that's it. That's all. You're very well integrated. My compliments for that. Thank you very much. But uh, okay, so as I said, you're a regular performer here in Holland. What do you like about the Dutch audience? What sets us apart from all the world? You know what and be is, honest. Is that uh, oh, okay? Being honest is that for me, a lot of my music has a Caribbean feel, and I think this country gets the whole soca and the, the, just the lineage of my music better than any country in the world. Ah, okay. So actually, you feel very at home here. I do. I feel very at home here. Okay, so Dakov, what can we uh, expect from you in the near future? What's in the pipeline? I'm doing a bunch of Bollywood stuff, so next year I'm only doing Bollywood music, which will be different for me. And I just signed a record deal back in England. It's my first deal since Angel Eyes and Storyteller. And we're going to have a new record out probably before the end of the year, so it's, it's very exciting. So I just got to get ready for a new record, some Bollywood stuff. And I had a baby, you know that, right? No, I didn't know that. When? Uh, uh, four months ago. Is so, it a boy or a girl? It's a girl, so I'm just kind of getting used to like not sleeping and stuff like that. So it's good. What's her name? Ria. Ria, nice, very nice. So I hope she looks like her mother. <laughs> that was really mean. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not mean. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, you know what? Her mother is beautiful. I hope she looks like her mother too. That's why I said it. That was really mean. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but last question. Um, Sorry? Yes. No. Okay. Good for I me, right? If you did, I wouldn't say something mean about them. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they look like your dad. <laughs> okay, okay. No, no, really, really. To wrap it up, listen, listen. Bollywood uh, project is not very ragavish. You know, I never expected that from you. What, what's about to move uh, uh, towards Bollywood? What's up with that? My favorite musician in the world is A.R. Rahman, and I've been working with him. Oh. So to me, that's that's a dream. Okay, see, so he actually inspired you to uh, to do Bollywood projects. I'm working with him. Yeah. I'm working with him. So he called me, and I'm there. So he's he, he's the best. It's a great honor to work with him. That's I think it's a great honor. It's the greatest honor of my career. Okay, so what other inspirations do you have throughout your career? What other like the the, the biggest? You know, obviously Michael. Uh, obviously Michael Jackson. Yeah. Like my whole career is a bad Michael Jackson imitation. So Michael, Stevie Wonder, Boyz II Men, all of Motown from before that, the Temptations and stuff. So Motown's big for me, and then in writing country music, and obviously Muhammad Rafi, Kishore Kumar, those voices. Okay, okay. So um, uh, I read on your Twitter that you said uh, streaming killed radio star. You what do read, you, you read all my tweets from the last? Obviously, day. I'm I'm a journalist. Hello. So what what of do you course, mean? Yeah. <laughs> of course, as all great journalists do, they base their story on Twitter. Yeah, on the no, fact. My, you know what? It is true. Streaming is like very. It is uh, impactful to those of us who are independent that put out records. So, um, it, you know, for every 150 times you stream a song, the artist gets one dollar. No way. I know. So it's really tough for independent artists. I don't know. I'm talking to everybody like it's your fault, but. It, it, for every, it's like you get like a million streams, only making three thousand dollars. So we really need people to keep streaming, keep buying music, you know. Otherwise, all the great musicians are not going to be here. Well, this is your chance to say it to the world. Please, please, world, made on music frigo. Thank you. everybody, this is Raghav and I want to thank all my fans in Holland, especially everyone here in Rotterdam. And big up Raj Entertainment for bringing me out and the wonderful people that have supported my career for the last decade. I'm coming back right in your face. Peace. Okay.